Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, here's something that we haven't done in many years. Uh, I haven't done it much at all because some, most people just deal with it. But uh, this guy doesn't want to. This old C4 Corvette. Uh, guy bought it brand new. Uh, an 82 or 3 uh, I think it's got 23,000 miles on it and he does not want anything leaking at all and he's got a bunch of stuff leaking so he says fix it fix it all okay what I'm doing right now is the transmission shift seal it's something that a lot of them have. Uh, everybody thinks it's a pan gasket. You see this right here. It'll leak around here and be running off the pan. And people will think, well, it's a, it just needs a filter kit. Well, no, it doesn't need a filter kit. You can you know, look a little closer and you can see that shift tube right there and how it's clean on the bottom. Well, that's because the fluid running out of there has cleaned it up. Now, it's a little bit of a trick to do this because you can't, you can't get a hammer up in here to bang that seal in. What I do, depending on what room I, I've got, I take and I take a socket that's the size of the seal or a freckle smaller. And let's see here. And I put it up in there on the seal. If you can see that. And then I take my pry bar. Most of the time up against the exhaust and I lever it in like that. Now I've got some goop, whatever you call it. It was given to me by a customer many years ago. We were putting some stuff in his vehicle and he says, I don't need it anymore. It's called a DP 300. DP, huh? Well, he said it's a sealant that Rolls-Royce uses. Uh, had that for 15 years. <laughs> and you can see the thing's still about full. You put it on the outside of a rubber seal and press it in and it slides in nice and easy and it anchors in there. So that way you don't damage the outside of the seal. That way you don't have a leak going around the seal. Uh, now all I got to do is take... Uh, Take my shift shaft here and lube up the shaft and slide it in there and put it all back together. You'll get a filter kit and new fluid while I do that. Uh, then we got to put all four shocks on it. They're all four leaking. That's an age issue, not a mileage issue a lot of times. Uh, and then valve cover gaskets. Again, an age issue rather than a mileage issue. They get old, they dry up, and they leak like a sieve. This has got the uh, 5.7 to 350 crossfire fuel injection. It's it's special to the customer. Most people don't desire these C4s. I can see why. That was back when they were uh, trying to compete on an unlevel playing field, you know, trying to make power with uh, with all the restrictions in the in the U U.S. But you know, it's not bad. Although I to get in and out of it, I have to kind of lean over and crawl out. 
that's kind of a metaphor for life when you get to the point where you can afford the toy you can't use the toy because you can't fit in it and you know better so you don't do the tricks that you would have when you were younger oh well like comment subscribe hit the little bell notification share it around we'll talk to you later